I just got back from uh, the Gopher game today against Purdue. And, uh, you know, let's backtrack a little bit here before I'm, I'm calmed down. I'm more calm than I was an hour ago. And so I just, you know, I was at the game. I was irate at the game. The drive home, I took a nap. I didn't drive. And, and so, you know, I, I got home now. I'm in my like kind of like studio room. I'm, it's it's messy right now. I'm gonna be cleaning up, so pardon me for that. <clears throat> You'll just get this blue background for right now. But uh, sorry for the. Uh, I didn't post any other videos, by the way. I went to the Renaissance Festival last weekend um, after the Kansas State game, or I'm sorry, the Kansas Jayhawk game. And uh, sorry, Jasper entered the room here threw me off so after the kansas game when they are beating up on uh who are they playing duke and i was saying uh jalen davis is a heisman contender i still believe he is he's a great football player in fact they're beating on iowa state now it's uh it's a six point game i'm not sure what the score is exactly but they are winning right now at halftime by six points so kansas has a, uh, a shot to go five and oh and uh, Kansas is the real deal. You know, they, they made that point beating Duke, even though even though Duke's not a football program. Duke was also 3-0. So they won their games, and, and Kansas made a statement with that, which is Kansas, so that is a statement. To a normal team, beating Duke isn't. But I would say to Kansas it is. And then now they're playing a legit Iowa State team. They already beat West Virginia, and now... They're leading at halftime against Iowa State. So if Kansas pulls this off and they're five zero, they should be they should have been ranked this week. I don't know why they didn't rank them, um, but they'll be ranked uh, this coming Sunday once uh, if they beat Iowa State. But Iowa State might may come back, so I'm not gonna speak too much on that anymore. Anyway, I was after that game. I did watch the Minnesota uh, Michigan State game. I was watching it on the way to the Renaissance Festival, so I didn't post any videos. I kind of I just cold, and then I got cold after that for me outside. So like these these last these last uh, few days, I just been MIA. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I want to talk about last week and all the games that happened last week, but that was last week. Um, if it was like. Four or five days ago, I would have been like, hey, the Gophers are 4-0. They're looking tremendous. Tanner Morgan was on fire. Ibrahim looked great. Heisman running back, black horse. The defense looks spectacular. Um, they have a real chance of going 11-1 with the only loss possibly being Penn State. And, you know, everything would be all good, right? But uh, that's not the case. Uh, after this Purdue game that I went to, so now I'm making this video now after I got home, I'm wearing a yellow sweatshirt because it was a stripe out game. So, uh, you know, it was maroon, gold, maroon, gold. And I didn't have anything gold for uh, Gophers. I went to Minnesota State Mankato. So I was repping that, you know. But uh, this is what I wore to the game. And Minnesota always finds a way to disappoint. Being a Minnesota sports fan is, how do I even compare it? I, it's it's just like every time it's a car wreck something bad will happen the Vikings always suck in fact I hate the NFL I'm not an NFL guy so like of course I love the Vikings being from Minnesota and everything like that but like to be honest I gave up on this on the Vikings a while ago I don't care they could go 0-17 don't care I just don't um not because I hate the Vikings, not because I'm a Packers fan. I'm just not an NFL fan. And on top of Minnesota sports, like the Vikings, finding ways to just shit beds makes me even like hate them more. So, nope. I'm not a Wild fan. I'm not a Timberwolves fan. I'm not whatever our soccer team, the United or whatever. I'm not a fan of them. I'm a fan of the Gophers. I'm a fan of Minnesota State Mavericks because that's where I played. And that's really about it. Those are like the two teams I really support. And both of them are college football. Obviously, Gophers are Division One, And uh, <clears throat> Minnesota State Mankato, we are Division Two. So, 
you know, I even had, I'm, I'm coaching at Hopkins and the head coach even asked me, he's not from Minnesota. He was like, why do you root for the Gophers when you're a Cato fan? I'm like, dude, it's different divisions. So it's not like there's a rivalry or anything. It's like, it's two completely different schools, two completely different talent levels. Like there's not a rivalry to, to have. Like, yeah, I'm a Maverick at heart. And we do have a rivalry in hockey because we are division one in hockey. So we do play the Gophers from time to time. And in that instance, yes, I root for the Mavericks, but <clears throat> I also grew up a Gopher fan. Anyway, whatever. Back to today's game. Boy, was this Minnesota-esque. They got the hype. They're ranked after week four. They're ranked 21st. They uh, Joe Klatt, who I'm a huge fan of, uh, gave praise to the Gophers and said, hey, Gophers are going 11-1 or 12-0. They're going to row their boat to the conference championship and playoff contenders, which I thought he was hyping it. But at the same time, I was thinking too, like, hey, with how they're playing, the only team they should lose to is Penn State. Wisconsin's down. I was down. Purdue sucks, which I was full of shit. Um, you know, that the, the schedule works in their favor. But being Minnesota, just like they were in 2021, they lose to games, they lose to teams that they should not lose to. Gophers lost to Bowling Green last year, which is probably the most embarrassing loss in program history. And I'm not blowing that out of proportion. I seriously mean that. And uh, the records would agree with that. And then they lost to Illinois. Who Illinois is a good team, but they're not that good. And they should beat Illinois, and they lost to them too. So this year's Purdue loss that just happened today, October 1st, 2022, feels like the Illinois loss to last year. Where it sh it, Purdue is not a better team. They're not, in my opinion. Oh, first of all, Purdue fans, good game. I'm not going to be a sore loser. You guys won. Congratulations. But that being said, I think the Gophers were the better team. They just did not come prepared. I think the external factors of them being 21 and how they can make the Big Ten championship game, win the West, play Ohio State, which will probably be the uh, Eastern winners, I think that got to the head. And who, who knows if they actually, if P.J. Fleck actually kept that stuff quiet but then you add Mo Ibrahim he didn't play who know what is that nasty he didn't play don't know why they kept it quiet because everyone in the nation was expecting him to show up and he just wasn't in so I don't know if he tweaked something during pregame or what happened but he wasn't there so that hurts a lot I'm not saying Potts sucks Potts is a great back He's not Abraham. So losing him sucked a lot. And uh, Tanner Morgan is a lot like Kirk Cousins. When you he has a great couple games, you think he's figured it out, and then he does the usual that you're like, ah, that's the Tanner Morgan we love and know. That's exactly what happened today. He threw two picks, which one of them isn't his fault, and I will give him, I will not give him shit for that. It hit uh, his name Michael Brown Stevens. It's something Brown Stevens, wide receiver for the Gophers, who's a good good receiver. He had a, a a route in the end zone, wide open. Ball hit him in the hands. It bounced off his hands, and a Purdue player picked it off. So uh, not only is that touchdown we didn't get, but it's a turnover, so we can't even get a field goal attempt out of it, which ultimately may have altered quite a bit of the game. Um, we also had a field goal attempt that we missed, so that's ten point a ten point swing right there. We did not get, and the final score was twenty to ten. So would have been twenty twenty. Um, although to be fair, the last touchdown Purdue got was garbage points. It was after they already had won the game. Basically, they just had to milk the clock, and then they just popped one off and scored. So really, it was like thirteen ten. So the defense gave up thirteen points. The defense was phenomenal. They did their job. Um, I'm mad at the Gophers. I'm pissed off. But the defense, hey, you did what you could. 13 points. I'm not counting that last touchdown. Um, it's stupid to count garbage points touchdowns. I think as a as a DC, 
and uh, a defensive player, you shouldn't allow those guards point touchdowns because at the end of the day, it don't matter what the score is, you shouldn't allow touchdowns. That's your whole job. But as like someone that speculates the game, um, that touchdown, it is what it is. Shouldn't have happened, so I'm, I just won't count it. Uh, so they really gave up 13 points that crucially mattered, which is really good. Thir giving up just 13. If you would ask me, hey, 13 points, that's all you're giving up. Pfft. I would be like, that's a dub. Gophers are at least going to gonna put up 21. I'm like, yeah. Tanner Morgan looked terrible. The receivers dropped quite a bit of balls, including that interception I talked about with uh, Stevens Brown in the end zone. And then uh, on top of that, we couldn't run the ball for shit. I don't, it was, I want to say it was partially Mo Ibrahim not being in, but I also want to say it was the offensive line. Um, every time... Potts got the ball. There was just nowhere to go. So um, even if you made a man miss, there's Purdue guys all around. Um, I don't know how much Mo was actually missed. I'm not taking away credit from Mo at all. I just think today was just not the day, and the old line just was not there. Along with Tanner Morgan, along with the receivers, just the offense in general was not there today. And uh, I really put this all on PJ Fleck. And I'm sure P.J. Fleck, being P.J., he's going to take credit for this loss, which he should be, because they just came out of this game offensively super flat. Um, the first drive was a three and out. We punted it. Then Purdue scored a touchdown. Next drive, so 7-0. And then after that, the defense stepped up, gave up only two field goals the rest of the game. But the problem was is that we could not drive. We could not do anything offensively. So, um... Gophers dropped to 4-1. and one. I'm sure they will be unranked now. They went from unranked to 21 after Michigan State lost to Purdue, so I'm sure they'll be unranked. And at the point of uh, being a Gopher fan, I don't know where this is going to go from now on. I think we got a bye next week, and then we got Illinois. Illinois is kick-stomping Wisconsin right now, so um, granted Wisconsin is also having a down year. But I also think Illinois is a little bit better than people are assuming. And... You asked me a few days ago before this game, I would have said they're going to beat Purdue, they're going to beat Illinois, and then the big game is Penn State. That's the game we got to worry about. Now, I'm thinking, we got to lick our wounds and find a way to beat Illinois, hopefully, so then when we play Penn State, it's not a three-loss in a row kind of uh, stretch we have here. We do have a bye, so I think I was really hoping to get this win, go into the bye 5-0. But now it's like recover instead of thinking, hey, we're the shit. We got an extra week for uh, Illinois. We'll come out 6-0 and after that. It's, hey, we dropped the bag. We got to lick our wounds, recover, and get ready to beat Illinois and get to that Penn State game. Um, PJ always uh, preaches the one-game championship. Uh, words are great, but at the same time, how much does it really affect your psyche? I don't think it affected them when it came to the offense because uh, they weren't there. So that's really all I got to say for right now as a Gopher fan and as a college football watcher and as a high school coach and a college football ex-player. Um, like I said, I'm sorry I missed last week. I was at the Renaissance Festival and I did watch some games, but I just didn't make any videos. I had two with Kansas. I'm watching the Kansas one now, depressingly, because I'm still upset with the Gophers' loss. Um, so I will watch more going forward, and then I'll post videos of games that are happening tonight and everything like that. Um, luckily for us, Wisconsin's down. I'm pretty sure Iowa lost to Michigan. They were losing when I was at the game, but at the Gopher game, but I didn't check since I got back. Um, so. We can still win the West. That's the good news. We can still win the West. The bad news is, is Purdue's up one. I think they're two and two, so now they'll be three and two. Uh, the problem is, is that can the Gophers actually do it? Iowa and Wisconsin, the two teams we always struggle with, are down. But are we, are we up as the Gophers? You know, like can we actually take the West? I'm not worried about the other teams right now. Can we take it? This is a year we should, but can we? 
Um, so that's kind of how I'm feeling on that. I'm at 15 minutes. Uh, shout out Uncle Lou. He's a college football guy. I'm kind of doing a video like him too. <laughs> Not to steal. But uh, yeah. So shout out to Kansas. Like I said, they're looking good. Um, UCLA. Ooh, let's talk about that one real quick. UCLA played Washington last night. Washington was ranked 15th. They were 4-0, just like the Gophers. And UCLA is also 4-0, but they were unranked. It was a home game for UCLA. It was prime time, and the stadium was still empty. Why was the stadium empty, Jake? Well, Los Angeles isn't really a football town. There's a lot going on. And on top of that, the stadium, Rose Bowl, isn't on campus, so it's actually a little bit more of a hustle for students to get to games. I think UCLA has a huge problem when it comes to the fans, and that's something they have to address because when you're 4-0 in a primetime game versus an undefeated Washington team who's 15th and you're unranked, that place should be packed and everyone should be excited, but they were not. Good news for UCLA, though, is they still found a way to win. I feel like Washington was a lot like the Gophers, where they're ranked, they're 4-0, feeling good. They came in just flat. And uh, for Washington, though, it's kind of similar to Tanner Morgan. Quarterback threw two picks back-to-back -back late in the second quarter. UCLA got a lead at halftime, and then Washington was playing catch-up. And they actually did catch up near the end. It was just not enough time, and UCLA ended up still winning and uh, so UCLA is 5-0. Um, them and USC, I think, does UC, USC play today? They'll be playing today. So UCLA is 5-0. Um, it's going to be interesting to watch that game. So yeah, um, sounds like someone is doing laundry right over there. Um What else happened? I didn't watch any other games Friday, yesterday. Um, I don't even know who played yesterday besides that because I had a game myself coaching high school football. So I didn't watch any game besides that UCLA one just because it's West Coast. So it's a little later. Thursday. Who played Thursday? A couple teams played. Oh, that's right. BYU and Utah. Utah State. Um... BYU, oh, lost my balance. BYU did their thing. They're ranked 19th. Still think they're overrated. I think a lot of teams that are, are not ranked would beat BYU. So um, that's my hot take of college football for this week is BYU is heavily overrated. Yeah, they beat Utah State. Congratulations. Utah State is a terrible Mountain West school. Um BYU actually got to play a Power 5 team in Oregon, and look how that turned out. So um, I think BYU is heavily overrated, and when they get real competition, they'll they'll lose. So um, having them 19th, which they'll probably be higher now because that was Thursday. So like I said, tomorrow when they do their rankings for this upcoming week, they'll probably be at like 17, 16, or something like that. That's not what they are. Um And uh, someone, oh yeah, South Carolina played South Carolina State that Thursday as well. I watched a little bit of that game. Nothing really to watch besides South Carolina beating up on an FCS school. And South Carolina sucks as well. That's all I got to say about it. So there's South Carolina's 3-2, and two, I think. <clears throat> big team I root for in the SEC as much as I hate the SEC from a Big Ten fan is uh, I'm a huge Arkansas fan. They're kind of the underdogs of the SEC. Last year they had a great year. This year they're starting to have a good year. Unfortunately they lost to Texas A&M last week um, which they could have won. It was a close game and then now they're playing Bama and it's like 28-0 at half so unfortunately Arkansas will most likely lose that game as well which sucks because as an underdog guy, I really like to see those schools like Kansas, like Arkansas, those teams that just had bad years turn programs around and catch eyes, catch people saying, 
they're back. So um, I'll be really watching Kansas and Arkansas a lot this year. I'm rooting for them, especially since my Gophers. It's hard to root for them. So anyway, I'm at about 20 minutes. I'm going to stop this, and uh, I'll, I'll upload it now. And then I'll probably make another video in like an hour or two after these games are at halftime. Now are finished. Talk about those. And then I'll probably make another video tonight after the night games are finished. The game to watch tonight is North Carolina State and Clemson. Those are big games, so I'll be watching that one. I said big games. That's a big game. Not games. Game. So I'll be watching that one. So we'll see. Anyway, this is Jake. And a uh, big football guy. Ha <laughs> ha. College guy. Um, screw the NFL. Minnesota sport teams suck. I hate saying it. But it's hauntingly freeing to not cheer for Minnesota professional teams. Something about not cheering for them is like, oh, thank you. Because the amount of shit they put you through as a fan, you don't want to be a part of them. So, um. Except for the Gophers, because college football and the Mavs. Roll Mavs. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Thank you, guys.